PL SQL Challenge is all about active learning rather than passively reading a book or watching a video, which is all well and good. With the PL SQL Challenge, you engage with the technology by testing your knowledge through a quiz. So on the homepage, you'll see all the quizzes that are available to you, and you can pick the quiz and dive right in. For example, let's take a look at the this week's PL SQL Challenge quiz. So we have a little introduction. You can read the instruction, advice, assumptions, which you probably want to do the first time you play. If you're not being ranked, in other words, you're not playing competitively, you can start playing competitively by checking the box here, and then you start. And then you're basically presented with a question and then a set of choices. And you pick all the choices that you think are correct, and then you submit your answer. And at that point, you can take a look at the results at least the information about the quiz, you can't see your results yet. If you're playing a competitive quiz, you have to wait till the, the week ends. You can report a problem, fill out a survey. You could check out a joke if you'd like, but let's go ahead and, and view the results. So what you can see here is that you can't yet find out how you did. You can see that you, I marked this one correct and this one correct. We're not gonna show you which one is a correct choice or not until the week is ended, the weekly quiz has terminated, and then we calculate the rankings and then you can see how you did. This, of course, is important when you're playing competitively and you don't want to let people be seeing the answers before the end of the week. If you choose not to play competitively, well, you still need to wait, but you don't really care so much about the rankings. So you can certainly take a quiz, but you can also visit the library and check out all the past quizzes. The PL SQL Challenge has been up and running since April 2010. There are over a thousand quizzes just on PL SQL alone, and you can visit them and explore through the library. You'll see the most recent first, and most players use the library to check on how they did in their last quiz. But in any case, you can drill down in your choice of quizzes, and you can read about the summary, you can look at the question and the answers. I'll check out statistics for taking the quiz, lots of links to resources. Almost every one of our quizzes comes with automatically generated verification codes. So you can grab this code and run it in your own environment or on livesql.oracle.com and try it out yourself and learn from these quizzes. Now, if you'd like to take advantage of the past quizzes and actually take them and learn from them, not through reading, but through testing yourself, click on the Practice tab. And in the Practice tab, you can basically choose your quizzes in a variety of ways. For example, I can say, well, I'd really like to learn more about Dynamic SQL. Let's take a look. So I can drill down into PL SQL and then say, what I'd really like to focus on is Dynamic SQL. And I'd like to take five quizzes. So I go Next. And it's set up a quiz for me. And now I can take it immediately. I can start later if I want to. Let's start it right away, create a practice and I drill down into my different quizzes and take them. Hmm, I think that one's right, and I think that one's right, and I can move around through my different quizzes, set of five. And after I'm done, view my results, see how I did. Hmm, looks like I didn't do very well, but that's not too surprising given I was just guessing, and I can drill down into my individual quizzes and explore further. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? And learn from these so that the next time I, I encounter a dynamic SQL challenge in my workplace, I've got a lot more knowledge under my belt as a result of taking these quizzes. Now, many players compete. You might not want to take the quizzes to compete, but you certainly could. And we offer a number of different ways to examine rankings. So for example, we're going to take a look at the recent PL SQL challenge quizzes in the current quarter. And here are the rankings of the players. Now again, you don't have to be ranked. You can play non-competitively, but if you like to be competitive and you like to compete with others, you just have to turn on the switch for that particular technology from the homepage, and off you go. So you can take quizzes, you can practice and learn more about the technology by choosing to set up practice quizzes. You can also take tests. So tests generally are previous annual championships that you haven't played in if you haven't been participating in the championships, but you can now take that test essentially. So I can click on any one of these different championship quizzes, and I can then start the same process I would have done taking my regular weekly quiz. The difference is that these tests usually are composed of multiple quizzes. So you can move around through your quizzes, through the through the different quizzes in the, in this case, the PL SQL championship, and you choose the ones that you think is correct, and then you kind of move along and you can move back and forth as well. And then when you're done, you can submit your answer. 
and then you'll find out how you did on your test. So this is a way, even if you don't happen to qualify for our annual championships, to still take that championship, test yourself at a pretty high level of expertise. Well, that's the end of our quick tour of the PL SQL Challenge. I hope that you found lots to interest you, lots of ways to learn more about SQL, PL SQL, database design, and logic. And feel free to visit often, take your weekly quizzes, explore your past quizzes in the library, practice the technology, and become more and more expert in the various technologies that we offer you on the PL SQL Challenge website. Enjoy.